Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elena, a part-time reseller on four platforms. On this channel, I do what sold videos, live streams, as well as put up any informational video that might help any reseller, whether new or experienced. So today I'm going to be talking about a switcheroo scam, but is it actually a scam? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to be showing you the package that the buyer ended up returning it. I'm going to be showing you some screen um, sharing that about the whole case in general. And I'm going to show you the tracking as well as to why I got a bad feeling about this buyer as soon as I saw that and as soon as the case was open. So stay tuned to the end to find out what my thoughts are. And you guys let me know, is this actually a scam or is this something I'm just not aware of? Let's do this. All right, so on December 13th, I ended up getting, uh, I ended up sending offers out. It was for a uh, Under Armour pullover. I sent an offer off for $35 free shipping. Somebody accepted and they paid almost immediately. No problem at all. This was a 12 feedback buyer. So I had my reserves, but at the end of the day, I will sell to zero feedback because I've had no problems with those a lot of the times. So I get the order on December 13th at 11.08 a.m. I believe I shipped it out that same day or the next day. I don't, rem I don't remember, but I did ship it out pretty quick. And then this is the part that really baffled me. I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be sharing my screen. I'm going to show you two windows. And the first one is going to be about the tracking. And then I'm going to show you the actual return case because then the tracking will make sense. So as you see right here, the on December 15th, it was in, tra in transit to the next facility. On December 16th, it arrived at the regional center where the buyer lives. Now, the reason this right here is important is because, and this one too probably, is because, let's head over to the return case. This right here, the buyer requested a return for item doesn't fit on December the 15th. That right there was very strange to me. The, the other strange thing was why did it do as an item not fit as a item does not fit other than an item not as described. So that's the strange part. And the reason that's a strange part is again, let's go back to the tracking. On December 16th, it was not even delivered to the buyer yet. So what does that say? The buyer opened up a return before the item even arrived to them why i have no idea so again i have it for buyer has to pay the return shipping so the buyer paid the return shipping that's why this is so strange to me so the and then after that i actually i got the item back i think that same day on december 17th i got the item back it was uh, delivered to my po box i got it i opened it up and i even uh recorded the video which I will actually be putting uh, later down the road, but um, actually I might just put it right now. So enjoy this little clip of me opening the package and you're going to see why this is strange. I'm opening the package sealed. As you can see, it has my PO box number. So Doing that. Yep. So guys, this is not what I got at all. Time to make a video about it because this is not what I got. Okay, guys. So as you saw in that video, I did not get the correct pullover back. As you can see right here, this logo right here is not what I got back. I ended up getting one that actually says Under Armour. The weird thing is, it's the same size. Same size. It still has the tag, the new tags, which I'm going to show you later on because I do have it here. But yeah, so I opened the case that same day. As you can see, I opened the case saying the logo on this Under Armour pullover is clearly not the same as the one I sent out. That's just how it is. And then let's head over uh okay so and then after that i just waited because that's all i could do i wake up in the middle of the night 
and then saying the case was closed or resolved, I was not found at fault. I would assume that I wasn't. But see, that's the strange thing. I'm going to show you another eBay message that I've never gotten this before, actually. It's a, it's a very first one. So let's head over to my eBay messages. And the reason... Oh, sorry about that. Okay. The reason I find that strange as well, because look, look at the title. It says, must read. The case has been resolved. Okay, that's fine. But I've never seen this must read right here. That's just strange. All right. So let's um, head over to the bottom. I'm saying, hello, my name is Mike. I received and reviewed the resolution for the case from the buyer, blah, blah, blah. I understand the buyer opened a return claiming the item was of the wrong size, which it wasn't. They returned it because supposedly they say it doesn't fit. Um, they apologize for the issue, blah, blah, blah. And then apparently that how professional I've been and intend to work things out with the buyer, which I really wasn't. I just opened a case because I didn't get back what I sold. Um, after the review, they were able to validate the buyer sent you, sent me a different item. Well, yeah, I sent three pictures saying, and it's clearly not the same item. Um, I am no, I don't have to issue a refund or a replacement, which I wasn't planning to anyways, unless eBay forced me to. But the thing is, I have nothing to worry about, meaning that I am protected by the seller, uh, protection program. Fine. Case closed, blah, blah, blah. Now that's the part that's strange to me. The buyers kept the sweater. I got my money and they got a refund by eBay. So that's where I'm kind of confused as to if this is really a scam. The reason I say this is a scam is because I did not get the same sweater that I sent out. This one is the one that I got. And I actually have it right here the whole time. This is the one that I got back. The thing is, is the same size and has a tag. It's still new. The only thing is, I don't, I haven't checked it, but this sweater might not be worth as much as the other one. I haven't, I don't know. I haven't checked. No. The other thing that made me uncomfortable too was the package that the buyer returned it in. I'll show you that later because I don't know. I might not show the buyer's address actually because I'm not 100% sure if this was a scam. I don't know. But this is what I got, got the sweater back in. This is clearly another reseller who has an inventory system. Like I said, you guys let me know in the comments below. Was this a scam? I, it was definitely a switcheroo because I did not get back what I sent. So, like I said, guys, I don't know if this was a scam or not. That's really the only reason I'm not going to just reveal the buyer's address because that's what I was originally going to do. I was going to reveal the uh, their address, but I will be revealing their username because I'm pretty sure that this is just a throwaway account. I'm I'm 100 percent sure that this is not their main account. And yeah, this right here is their username. I think it was um, Bo6837. I would block that buyer because you might not get back what you uh, sent them and their case might be open before it even arrives to them. So again, you guys let me know in the bottom. Is this a switcheroo scam? Or what exactly, what, what exactly is this? Is this a, a new scam that I am not aware of where they return an item of equal value? Because I might be able to sell that sweater for 35 Maybe. I kept the money still. And I still got another sweater. So are we both in the win? Did I basically just get a free uh, item? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. So that's really the only reason... That is really the only reason I am not revealing the address because it actually got sent to a parcel select locker. I'm assuming that that's the same thing as a PO box. So it was not sent to the buyer's address or home. So yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below. Was this a scam? Is this an, a, something that I'm not aware of? I don't know. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I hope this helped you out. I know some people were interested in how this case was resolved and this was the big resolve. Um, I kept the money. I have a sweater. The buyer got a refund, of course, on behalf of eBay and they got a sweater too. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Is, is there something that I'm missing? You guys let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe on the bottom right for more reselling content and also, give this video a thumbs up as it would definitely help me out to let me know that I'm doing a good job. So, thank you for watching. 
Till next time, guys, stay safe, take care. See you next time.